There is a situation in Malawi where more and more patients are developing infections which are effectively untreatable locally. Most of the antibiotics we have uh, 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 developed are resistant to, to bacteria. That means uh, we have a lot of treatment, treatment failures, long hospitalization at the end of the day, having a high mortality and morbidity. One of the wards at Queen's Hospital in Blantyre is a, uh, is a neonatal unit where frail babies go to shortly after being born. Uh, and there's a, a drug-resistant bacteria that's circulating on that ward at the moment called Klebsiella, which is resistant to all of the antibiotics we have available. It's tragic walking around a, a neonatal unit uh, and, and seeing children with, uh, with untreatable uh, infections. So these are infections which would be a pain to treat in the UK, but far from impossible. We'll have uh, too many deaths by 2050 if you're not doing anything. Of course, it jeopardizes uh, modern medicine. So it's, it's a problem and which has to have holistic approach. What we're starting to see is people donating uh, the third line antibiotics, if you would, the carbapenems. Uh, and what that means is we never know when a drug is going to be available or not. Uh, so if, you, uh, if one sees a sick child with a drug resistant infection, of course one starts the carbapenem, but uh, one never knows when it's going to run out. So uh, th there is a slightly bizarre situation in which we don't know where the donations are coming from. It's just one day they're there in the pharmacy uh, and the next they're gone. Uh, and that has uh, huge impl implications for uh, whether or not we're able to successfully treat an infection. Uh, I, I think it's incredibly important that uh, there is uh, access to carbapenems for sick patients in Malawi, but equally um, very uh, careful thought needs to be given to how and when they're used. Uh, otherwise we will see the, the rapid emergence and spread of carbapenem resistance and that has implications for people in Malawi, people in the region and globally. One of my biggest concerns is the overuse of these antibiotics, both from healthy facilities and in the public. In Malawi, it's, it's a country where someone can just move into a pharmacy without a prescription to get an antibiotic. This has acts, have accelerated antibiotic resistance. Uh, the prevalence of antimicrobial resistance in the environment, even in the UK, is, is such that uh, it's staggering that any of us are alive.